Welcome back everyone. 513 is your time on this hump day. Again, give yourself a little extra time if you're getting out there. If your car isn't underneath the carport or in a garage, it is frosty out there. David Carnes, let's talk about what people can uh, expect today and into the rest of this week weather-wise. Uh, yeah, good morning, John. Absolutely right. Uh, I did it. You did it. Anybody with that car outside is going to be uh, getting some frost off the windshield this morning. Uh, not only that, we're also dealing with some areas of freezing fog. So we'll touch on that here in a second as well. 39 degrees by noon. It's going to be pretty chilly around lunchtime. Then we'll warm up nicely uh, by about 10 degrees, getting up to 48 by 3 p.m. We'll have a high briefly of 49 and then down into the low 40s this evening, eventually into the 30s for late night. And we'll drop back down into the mid to upper 20s by tomorrow morning. So right now it's in the mid to upper 20s up and down 75 uh, go east of the interstate upper 20s west of the interstate low 20s Dayton over into Mont Eagle so it is a pretty chilly start this morning we do have some fog uh, developing in some spots where we have that fog developing uh, there are some freezing fog advisories in effect this morning uh, the water droplets inside of fog whenever they super cool they can freeze to surfaces like roads or porches things handrails things of that nature so just be aware you may have a few patchy areas of ice that you're going to be dealing with this morning. So I don't think it'll be a big deal, but it's going to be a deal. So areas of freezing fogs and patchy black ice, and then we're going to warm up uh, late in the week starting tomorrow afternoon. We'll get into the 50s and stay there for a couple of days. So satellite and radar showing a little bit of moisture off to the southwest. This may actually bring us a couple of showers south of Chattanooga, parts of North Georgia uh, later this evening. We'll look at that on our Vipercast imagery. Again, you can see those rain showers to the southwest. Not much going on. We'll have some clouds building in this afternoon. This is 5 o'clock. You can see some showers around Fort Payne, and it'll be this evening uh, near between Dalton and Calhoun, maybe a few light showers drifting through, but most of the area will be dry, if not clear, as we head into tonight. Moving into Thursday, cold start, and then getting into the 50s on Thursday afternoon. And on Friday, you can see a front sliding through, but that front is not going to cool us down much until Saturday. For Friday, it's actually going to be pretty mild. We might even have one or two isolated rain sprinkles early. Early Friday morning. Most of the day, though, we're going to clear out. Uh, this is 7 o'clock in the morning, and we already have clear skies, except up in the Blue Ridge, where we may even get a very light wintry mix on Friday morning. But again, most of Friday is going to be dry, and we should have no issues at all. We move on into Saturday, and Saturday looks pretty interesting for the morning hours. Uh, looks like we may have some snow showers that we're dealing with, very light snow showers. Uh, this is 9, 930, uh, so as if you're getting up and going outdoors, you may be uh, experiencing a few flurries and light snow showers here and there. Even as late as 1 o'clock up toward Middle Tennessee, we could have some snow moving through parts of uh, the Nashville area. By Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening, we begin to see everything tapering off and it will clear out. So how much snow are we talking about? Uh, maybe a light dusting even in the valley with about a quarter to a third of an inch up on the plateau, maybe a half an inch to an inch up in the Blue Ridge. For today, the morning freezing fog, uh, the frost, uh, then we're going to have a seasonably cool afternoon with a high of 49. It'll be in the mid to upper 40s, even the low 50s in the Blue Ridge this afternoon. Tonight, a few showers well south of the city, uh, then clearing with some areas of frost again tonight into tomorrow morning as we drop down into the mid to upper 20s across the Tennessee Valley. And your storm alert seven-day forecast in low 50s for our highs. Friday, 40 in the morning, 52 in the afternoon, a pretty mild day. And then 34 on Saturday morning. I'll put our snow chance at 30% for Saturday morning right now. I think we'll probably ramp that up if the models hold consistent with keeping snow in the forecast for Saturday morning. But right now we'll put it at 30%. And then drying out but still cloudy on Sunday and warming a bit as we head into next week. Mostly sunny skies with highs in the mid 50s. Ooh, that's nice on Tuesday. John. I, I don't even know what to uh, get. Snow. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to just stay home and snuggle up and eat some chili. Just like we've been doing for what? Almost a year a now. Year? I think it's important <laughs> to say independently. Yes. Okay. Yes.